I go wrong, they say. How about Philippians 4.13? I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I used to use this verse and meditate on it when I was about to do something difficult or embark on something new. But I never really realized that this has been used by millions of people for a very long time to get them out of serious situations where there can be atrocities, uh, war, there can be starvation. People have been praying that verse. Good Christian people for a very long time. And it doesn't really mean anything. It doesn't get them out of anything. These atrocities, people still have died and starved and gone through horrendous things who are very faithful Christians. I agree that there is nothing more comforting than feeling that you have a deity on your side who is rooting for you. But when we get on the other side of things and we really look at the results of what's happened in the world, it's very hard to say that that verse has made any impact. This this is interesting, and it is a prime example of mis- interpreting what scripture actually says i too am really bothered when when people use this verse to apply to all their worldly dreams uh it's not what it's talking about at all and let me just make it clear the the bible is not a magic book okay it's not like if you say this uh verse over something it magically will make you victorious that's not what this is saying. Paul is talking about uh, receiving some provision from uh, the church and how during, he'd been arrested, he'd been put in jail, he'd been beaten, he'd been shipwrecked, he'd been through a lot of different things, but he hadn't received from any other church except this one. And he was thanking them, right? But he was also saying that he is content whether uh he is has comfortable lodgings and and is free or if he's in jail it doesn't matter because god is his comfort and that he's serving his purpose as the apostle sent to the gentiles so uh that god is guiding his steps so what he's saying here is that he has learned that he can endure anything He can go through any circumstance because Christ is strengthening him. And that he can be without provision and make it. Or he can receive provision from the church and be very grateful for it. In any case, whether they give to him or they don't, whether he's in jail or he's free, no matter what, he can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens him or which strengtheneth him. So whichever circumstance to have a lot, to have a little, to be in need, to have plenty, doesn't matter. He can do it all through Christ. So let's look at it. It, It's very sad when people don't investigate the validity of the scriptures The whole Bible is about Jesus Christ from beginning to end. And most people are blind to that. But let's take a look at the scripture that she's mentioning here. This is Philippians chapter 4. She mentioned specifically verse 13. Now she says this verse proves the Bible wrong. No, it proves that you don't understand context of scripture. It also proves that people that taught it to you also didn't understand the proper context of this scripture it it doesn't say this verse is not saying if you have worldly dreams you can do everything as long as you have jesus if you want to be a famous singer if you have jesus you'll be a famous that's not what this is saying it's saying that a random person can endure great suffering and affliction and the terrible things of the world and just Say this verse and it'll make it true. It, 
this is Paul talking about how he is able to endure all of this horrible stuff that's happening to him over and over and over again. He goes to God on one account three times to have something removed. And God said, my grace is sufficient for thee. So in its actual application and context, it's talking about St. Paul and how he was being strengthened. Now, all the promises of God are yea and amen in Christ. So if we are in Christ, we have the Holy Spirit. And this is also true for us. So when we endure a situation that is troublesome, or if we're having good and plenty times, either way, whatever we as Christians are facing, we can, we can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. But you have to know who he is. You have to have the spirit in you. And you have to know that he's alive. He died, was buried, and rose again the third day. This is truth. If someone can talk you out of your faith, you didn't have the evidence. You didn't do uh, the due diligence to confirm whether this was true or not. Our faith is not blind. Our faith is not blind. I researched every religion there was. And this consistently, archaeologically, historically, biblically, and prophetically confirmed itself over and over again as true. Now, there's things in the Bible that are very difficult, of course. But it's overwhelmingly provable. So, look, if you don't want to believe it, you don't have to. If you want to know if it's true or not, there's a lot of evidence that can confirm it. Most people don't want it to be true. But once again, we don't take the scriptures magically. It makes it true, right? We can do all things. Now we're strengthened because we said those words or we spoke the verse over it. No, this is true of those who have Christ in them. We can. We can, we can, we can endure any situation because Christ strengthens us. So let's look. Let's just start at verse 10. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me has flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want. For I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. Now you see in the context, I've learned that no matter what, to be content with it. Because God's with me. That's what he's saying. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Now, do you see it? I can have a lot or a little. I can be a uh, bond or free. I can, I can do whatever circumstance is not going to dictate to me how I feel. I am not a puppet of my circumstances. I am not a puppet of my feelings. I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ and I can rejoice no matter what. People don't want to hear that though. If you're suffering need, if you don't have enough, you can still rejoice. We have such a great hope set before us. Death is defeated, people. It was defeated. Jesus defeated death. There is no more death. We leave this body. We're present with the Lord. He gives us a brand new body in which we live forever. And yes, I do believe it. He proved it by rising three days later, just as he said. If you could look into the historical uh, evidence for that empty tomb it's, it, and his resurrection, it's mind-blowing. So, uh, yeah, the problem is not in the Bible. The problem it is in your interpretation. Okay, God bless you guys.